Hi there. Today I'm continuing my exploration of uh, Louis Michel's wines. So we're in Chablis in the northern part of Burgundy um, for cool climate expressions of um, Chardonnay. So this is uh, Premier Cru Vion, um, and um, as you'd expect with a family that have been uh, been in this region since the 1850s, um, they have some really good vineyard plots. Now the, the Vion um, sits in a valley that runs, I suppose it runs um, northwest towards the village of Chablis. Um, we're on the left bank of the River Serra, um, with the vineyards facing southeast. The, the, their aspect on sort of fairly gentle slopes. Soil types classic Kimmeridgian with sort of limestone and a good amount of clay um, ensuring relatively vigorous soils but well drained. Um, the wine is, the yields will be kept quite low, the wine is made, the Michels have pioneered largely since the 1960s, the, the approach of making the wine in stainless steel so that you're getting a very pure expression, you're not getting fruit influence there, um, f uh, sorry, oak influence on the fruit, you're just getting the fruit. Um, and um, the wines age with the, the yeast lees, um, so you're getting a relatively low yield of fruit, giving quite concentrated flavours, and then richness being given to the wine by that lees ageing, the, the dead yeast in the uh, fermenting and ageing tanks. Um, being allowed to break down and um, give sort of sugars and proteins to the wine that, that round it out and, and give it a little more smoothness and weight. Um, the Premier Cru gets a little longer ageing than the ordinary Chablis would, so we're talking a, a wine that sort of ages with its leaves for about 12 to 16 months. Um, this particular wine, um, as I said, the, the, the family have some very good um, vineyard plots. Although Vion, uh, as a premier cru, um, it may sound like a single entity, this is actually made from uh, a number of fruit from a number of climat within um, that premier cru that are then actually vinified together um, rather than kept separate. Um, so let's see what we think of the wine, shall we? Um, the colour is remarkable for its lack of remarkability, really. It's um, uh, a pale yellow um, with greenish hints. You know, it, it, it's not aged with, with in barrel or anything like that, so it's not had a chance to pick up any colour. Um, let's have a, a look at the aromas there. The aromas are relatively neutral. I mean, Chardonnay is not an aromatic grape variety. Um, so what you have here are largely secondary aromas. They are there are notes of, of sort of whetstone minerality, um, but then there's creamy, leasy notes from the lees aging, sort of um, more creamy than just dairy. They're quite quite well defined, that, but maybe a hint of butterscotch from a, a malolactic conversion that's gone on there. Um, I, I, I should say the uh, the Michel family like like a really pure expression of their wine, and so they don't, they don't believe in using. Um, cultured yeast, they allow an indigenous ferment to happen and they allow the indigenous microflora to conduct the malolactic conversion as well. So um, adding some, some complexity and probably some richness there as well. Um, so let's have a look at the taste. The palate follows through really nicely from the, the nose. There's a creamy weight and richness that's right to the front um, of the palate there. There is good acidity, but the, aci the, the, the fruit is coming to the fore. It's sort of slightly peachy, but with a, a nice, crisp citric note as well, just finishing it off and giving some, some um, liveliness to the finish. There are notes of the sort of the flinty, whetstone minerality. Um, at the, at the end there. And the acidity, which, which you know, is not as cutting as I would have thought it might have been at the beginning, actually comes through at the finish, leaving the, um, the finished mouth watering and leaving it lasting for quite a while. So um, yes, uh, uh, 
really enjoyable um, premiere crew there. Louis Michel's Vaillant from 2020. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been interesting. Bye now.